carrying great hopes from NASA, the Dream Chaser spaceplane has yet to take flight. Unfortunately, the primary obstacle preventing its ascent is the launch vehicle itself. NASA and Sierra Space are undoubtedly eager to resolve this issue, as the Dream Chaser holds significant promise for the future, potentially serving as an ideal replacement for what has become the biggest disappointment of the moment, Boeing's Starliner. In this challenging situation, they might need to turn to SpaceX, the long-standing savior of U.S. aerospace efforts. But why is SpaceX the best option? Could this partnership actually happen? And what benefits could this collaboration bring to NASA? Let's explore these questions on today's episode of Great SpaceX. The worst spacecraft in history. Perhaps no other vehicle is more deserving of this humiliating title than the Starliner. Over the past few years, Starliner has consistently been a major disappointment for NASA. Despite its $4.5 billion price tag and more than half a decade of development, the spacecraft's first crewed mission ended in failure. Even after finally launching, it couldn't make the return trip. Right now, Starliner remains stranded at the ISS, plagued by issues such as helium leaks, thruster failures, and problems with its undocking software. This situation has led NASA to propose a solution that involves using SpaceX's Dragon to rescue the mission. If Starliner cannot resolve its issues within a month, the two astronauts will be returned to, to Earth on SpaceX's Crew-9 next year, leaving Starliner to make the trip back without any crew on board. For Boeing, a long-standing company with a reputation for engineering excellence, this is nothing short of embarrassing. It's a mortifying failure for both the company and the expensive crew vehicle. However, this setback could create opportunities for other spacecraft. While the role of SpaceX's Dragon has already been extensively analyzed, this situation presents a particularly significant opportunity for Dream Chaser, the space plane poised to emerge as a viable alternative for NASA. Dream Chaser could potentially support or even replace Starliner in the future. But why is this the case? Compared to Starliner, Dream Chaser boasts several strengths that set it apart. Originally envisioned as the successor to NASA's Space Shuttle, Dream Chaser stands out due to its design and unique landing method as a space plane, unlike conventional spacecraft. While it's still too early to definitively assess its reliability, the positive results from its test offer more confidence than Starliner has managed to inspire. Though Dream Chaser has been slow in its testing phase, this deliberate pace has allowed for thorough evaluations, helping to avoid the pitfalls that have plagued Starliner. In contrast, Starliner's delays have not yielded the same level of reliability. This careful approach by Dream Chaser could prevent the types of issues that have continuously hampered Starliner. As for Boeing's Starliner, the best it can do is to fulfill the tasks outlined in its NASA contract. However, with its history of countless problems and delays, even that seems uncertain. There's no guarantee that Starliner will be able to perform as required, making any further delays or failures all too possible. Moreover, the possibility of the Starliner project being cancelled is growing. NASA has recently shown a willingness to cancel costly projects as seen with the Chandra Telescope and the Viper Lunar Rover. Both of these projects are arguably as important as Starliner, yet Starliner has been far more disappointing. Even though NASA remains committed to Starliner, going as far as to grant it a crew launch certificate despite its inability to safely return astronauts, there's still a chance it could be cancelled. In that event, Dream Chaser would be a strong candidate to step in. Although NASA could rely on Dragon to take over Starliner's duties, they likely wouldn't want to create a monopoly or become overly dependent on any single organization. This makes Dream Chaser an attractive alternative allowing NASA to maintain competition and flexibility in their crewed space missions. However, Dream Chaser is not without its challenges. Despite successfully completing testing and being moved to the launch site at Kennedy Space Center, it has yet to take flight. This delay adds another layer of complexity to NASA's options as they consider the future of their commercial crew program. Dream Chaser was originally set to be launched aboard ULA's Vulcan rocket during the CERT-2 mission. However, due to the pressing need for government payload certification, ULA has opted to launch a dummy payload on CERT-2, pushing the Dream Chaser mission 
to an undetermined date. It's undeniable that Dream Chaser's progress has been somewhat slow. After years of development, its first prototype was only completed at the end of last year. The months-long testing process that followed led to a scheduling conflict with its intended launch vehicle, the ULA Vulcan Centaur. In hindsight, Sierra Space might regret not considering more carefully before partnering with ULA, a company currently undergoing significant changes. As ULA phases out its older rockets and focuses on developing the new Vulcan Centaur, it is under pressure to secure national security launch certification. This urgency doesn't align well with Dream Chaser's pace. Additionally, Vulcan is neither quickly produced nor launched, and it lacks reusability, limiting Dream Chaser's deployment flexibility. This could result in yet another year passing without a Dream Chaser launch, which would be a significant disappointment for Sierra Space, NASA, and the broader aerospace industry. Beyond the current scheduling conflict, Vulcan may not be a suitable long-term partner for Dream Chaser. As ULA's older rockets retire, Vulcan will become its primary vehicle for launching national security payloads. However, due to delays, Vulcan has accumulated a backlog of missions that will take years to complete. With its recent selection for Phase 3 of the National Security Space Launch contract, running from 2025 to 2029, Dream Chaser's launch plans could be further affected. So, who can save Dream Chaser, Sierra Space, and NASA at this critical time? The answer is none other than SpaceX vehicles. If you agree with my opinion, please respond with yes in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to keep following SpaceX's development journey. NASA would likely be thrilled with this combination as it offers numerous benefits. Compared to ULA, SpaceX vehicles have several advantages. Firstly, SpaceX boasts the highest launch frequency in the world. Falcon 9 in particular has reached over 360 missions, becoming the most frequently launched vehicle in recent years. Falcon 9 can currently handle launches every two to three days, sometimes even within hours, offering unmatched flexibility to all customers, including Sierra Space. Additionally, Falcon Heavy, though launched less frequently, maintains stability and is ready to step in for Falcon 9 in challenging situations. The reliability of Falcon rockets is also a significant advantage, with a success rate of over 99%. From 2015 to July of 2024, Falcon rockets experienced no major incidents, and even when they encountered problems with the second stage, SpaceX quickly addressed the issue and made a strong comeback. This level of reliability is unmatched by any other rocket or organization. One of SpaceX's most significant competitive advantages is the reusability of its Falcon system. This feature allows SpaceX to save on production costs, which in turn reduces launch costs, a benefit every customer appreciates. Reusability also enables SpaceX to increase its launch rate over time. Their launch rate has consistently risen each year with a goal of reaching 148 flights this year. Therefore, SpaceX is undoubtedly the best option to help Dream Chaser at this time. With frequent launches, flexible scheduling, affordable costs, and unlimited future potential, SpaceX offers everything Sierra Space needs to get Dream Chaser off the ground. With SpaceX's support, Dream Chaser could definitely launch this year, provided it's ready. Not only will the cooperation between SpaceX and Dream Chaser benefit NASA in the near future, but it also holds immense potential for long-term gains. Beyond Dream Chaser, Sierra Space is developing another promising project, the Inflatable Life Module, currently part of the Orbital Reef Initiative with Blue Origin. Given its potential, Sierra Space could eventually create its own space station system, which will be crucial for NASA once the International Space Station retires. In this future scenario, Dream Chaser and SpaceX rockets would continue to play vital roles in supporting NASA's space activities. While some might assume that Dream Chaser would launch on Vulcan or New Glenn as part of Orbital Reef, it's clear that these vehicles lack the reliability that SpaceX rockets consistently deliver. Building and operating a new space station involves numerous challenges, including maintaining schedules and ensuring stable operations. For vehicles that are slow to manufacture and launch, Meeting these demands may not be feasible. SpaceX, with its rapid launch capability and proven reliability, is undoubtedly the best option to meet these stringent requirements. The prospect of Dream Chaser launching on SpaceX vehicles is a glimpse into the future of the aerospace industry. 
This partnership would bring together the world's most reliable launch vehicles and one of the most promising spacecraft in the coming years. And now that moment is approaching. These two giants will join forces to soar into space and achieve remarkable milestones. So, I ask of you, are you ready to witness this historic collaboration? For me, if there's one thing I know to be constant, it's that excitement is guaranteed. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.